That's why the stuff that you was doing before you came into the church, you're still doing it. Okay? Because you came in wrong. <coughs> and I just shared with you, I'm, I'm, I'm ministering under the anointing to the whole world. This will be here even when I'm gone. Because it's on the air. Send it viral so you wouldn't tell the same thing. So we pray to God. <coughs> Isn't that still what we're going for? Amen. This little small house church is not going into the world. And I'm going I'm to I'm be a, a greater witness in my death than I ever was in my life. I already know it. Jesus. You know, most folks don't really become somebody after they did. Mm-hmm. Mm. That's why the Bible says, Amen. you know, <laughs> in order for a testament to be effective, you got to be the death of a testator. Uh-huh. Yeah. All while you're living, you, you don't really have no power. Because between nine and the end, you might do some awful sin. Mm-hmm. God ain't gonna give you that kind of power. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you mess this folks up. Hallelujah. He ain't gonna give you power until you're dead. I already know that. So I already know. That's why I got all my my sermons recorded and everything. You gotta say it. Because folks gonna need them when I'm gone. Because I know what's in them. And y'all all know what's in them. Okay? That's why I don't put a name on building until folks did. Yeah. So if you put a name on somebody <laughs> build, on a building until so they did, they might act a fool. <laughs> and they might have to take it down. Amen. Like they did at Alpha State University. Yeah, yeah. They had to take it down. Sure they should have waited till they died. <laughs> Hear me now. Okay? <laughs> so in the spirit, it's the same way. Okay? You ain't going to have no power. God ain't going to really use you until you're gone. Okay? Mm. So if you're here today, Jesus. I just do in this little house truck for those who don't mind. Mm. And uh, when you came to the church, you came to the church, you gave your hand to the preacher, you gave your hand to the preacher, you got baptized. It's not because the Holy Ghost was big, God revealed his son to you, but because you on the morning bench. Mm-hmm. <laughs> okay? Whatever. Mm-hmm. A mama made you go up there. A daddy made you go up there. Grandma made you go up there. Mm-hmm. Whatever. You know, folk made you go up there. Or uh, you met somebody, a friend, a constituent, okay, and they said, man, you go to church. You know, you, you, know, you can get this, you can get that. I mean, you can even get delivered from, from evil if, if you're part of the church, right? <laughs> so you came into the church because of that. If you hear today, I don't know how long you've been in the church. Well, they are 100 years. That cover everybody, ain't nobody that hunting you. <laughs> Probably ain't nobody hunting you. Yeah. Are you 200 years old? Just cover everybody. <coughs> They're going to listen to you. They know anybody going to be 200 years old. Right. Amen. And you came here wrong. You are an Israelite. You're in the covenant. Okay? That means God got a promise for you. Okay? And that promise is death. He won't cast you out. You won't have no inheritance with the son of the promise. The son of the promise really is Jesus. Okay, that's the son of the promise. Amen. It's really Jesus. Amen. It ain't really Isaac. It's All really right. Jesus. All right. Okay? That's the only one I can get you in. He said, I'm the door. No man comes to Bob, but through me. Yeah. But through him now. Not through men, but All you right. got to come through Christ. Amen. Amen. In order for you to come to Christ, God's got to draw you to Christ. If God don't draw you to Christ, you can't come in. Mm-hmm. And so many people in church, they in God's house, they in the mm-hmm. ministry from the pulpit. I'm talking about most of the pastors, most of them. I know, I know, I know. I'm praying for them. Most of them, Israelite. God didn't reveal this story to them. Okay, they going astray. Head to the ditch and they lead all God's people to the ditch. Mm-hmm. I know what I'm talking about. I've been in this thing 30 years. I've been everywhere. Mm-hmm. I know so many of them, I don't know what to do. Too many of them. But if you're here today, you didn't come in right. Don't let pride get in your way. Mm-hmm. So this is about your soul salvation. Mm-hmm. You don't know the day of the hour Christ comes from. You might, before you leave out this building, you might drop over and die. Don't let nobody go through now. Okay? You might, might make it home this evening now. Okay? Now, if I had came in the wrong way, I would have been got that thing right. Mm-hmm. 
I would bring that that thing right. Yeah. Especially after God revealed the son to me. Yeah. And most of y'all that's in church now, God has revealed the son to you now through all the preaching, the teaching, and all of you right. know the truth. Right. You know the truth. Amen. Amen. That truth should take that error captive and correct you. Yeah. But you won't let the truth correct you. Because you're full of pride. Yeah. I mean, because you're fearful. I don't know. You might be afraid. But what's somebody going to do to you? Well, the Bible says, don't fear him that destroy the bodies. I'm just telling what the words say now. Don't fear him that destroy the body. That's all they can do. Now, if they do that, they can't touch your soul and your spirit. Right. But if you're the one that can catch your soul and spirit in hell. Mm -hmm. But people are more fearful of men than is a dog. It's crazy. The very men that you fear for, they just, more they ain't nothing but vapor. Mm -hmm. Ain't nothing but the dust of the earth. They're going to go the way of the world. They can't save themselves. So if you hear today, I'm close. I ain't going to ask you nothing. Because I said everything needs to be said. But if you came in the wrong way, God said this day, October 18th, right? Mm -hmm. 2020. Mm -hmm. 110, 11, 10, 11, 10, because y'all started 10 minutes late. Some of y'all started at <laughs> I would have been there left y'all had started. <laughs> All right. Open the clothes. I'm going to get a benediction. Come up here. You came here wrong. Go. Came here wrong. It's not by the will of God. It's by the will of man. Came here wrong. Anybody here? Praise God. Nobody here. Those of you all on social media, if you came in wrong, and you know what I'm talking about, just explain it. Go back to your church. Talk to your pastor or your deacon or your elders and let them know that you want them to let you go before the church. Let you go before the church and confess that you came in wrong and how you came in. Mm -hmm. And when you do that, not only are you going to save your soul, mm -hmm. you will save a multitude mm -hmm. of souls. You will be like a dope that's going to set people free, not just here in America, but all over the world because of your union. May the Lord bless you and keep you all is my prayer. Amen. Now we're going to take up the offering real quick, like, turn it off. We're going to take up the offering.